David Allen Green, born the 28th of March 1971, Winking Face, is an English lawyer and writer. He is the former legal correspondent for the New Statesman, is a columnist on law and policy for the Financial Times, and has previously blogged using the pseudonym Jack of Kent. His articles on legal matters have been published by The Guardian, The Lawyer, New Scientist, and others. He was shortlisted for the George Orwell Blogging Prize in 2010 and was a judge of the same in 2011. He was also named in 2010 as one of the leading innovators in journalism and media, and in 2011 as one of the Hot 100 lawyers by the lawyer. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Green was born at Selly Oak Hospital and brought up in Birmingham. After attending Four Dwellings Comprehensive School and Hallisowen College Sixth Form, he studied modern history at Pembroke College, Oxford, and law at the University of Birmingham. In 2012, Green was listed on the Independent on Sunday Pink List, a list of influential British LGBT people. On Twitter, Green noted that he was bisexual in response to the listings. He has also said that he was not christened and am still less a Christian. Topic legal career After being awarded the Sir Thomas More and Hardwick scholarships by Lincoln's Inn, Green was called to the bar in 1999 and became a solicitor in 2001. Formerly a lawyer at Baker McKenzie, Herbert Smith, and the Treasury Solicitor, he is now and since 2009, head of the media practice at Pricekill & Co. He was involved on a pro bono basis with Simon Singh's successful libel defense campaign against the British Chiropractic Association. In 2010, he advised Sally Burkow over possible libel action by think tank Migration Watch UK and their chairman Sir Andrew Green, which was later dropped. He led the defense in the Twitter joke trial, in which defendant Paul. Chambers was acquitted on the 27th of July 2012. Topic: Journalism. Green is a blogger on his own blog, and previously one under the name Jack of Kent, named after Jack O. Kent, is a columnist on law and policy for the Financial Times, and has contributed to the New Statesman, the Guardian, the Lawyer, and the New Scientist in the past. In 2012, he gave evidence to the Levison inquiry into the culture, practices and ethics of the British press. 